She died. What are we gonna do? I don't have $500 to just buy another one. We gotta fix this. We're gonna break down how we took this totally useless TV and brought it back to life. All right, guys, we got the TV down and now we're looking for our smoking gun. It's probably the motherboard or the power supply. The power supply does have some scorch marks on these thermistors, but after checking output voltages, the fuse, and swapping it out with another power supply, we know the issues with the motherboard. Now for the hard part. There are no reasonably priced motherboards for this TV. The cheapest one last week was $300, and as of editing, 160 is the cheapest. But we found a workaround. On Reddit, this guy BigHerm30 posted that he was able to use a 70-inch motherboard on his 75-inch TV. Well, being adventurous, we went for the Hisense 70-inch A6 motherboard, because it was cheaper, to put in our 75-inch H65 Hisense. Since all the components are nearly identical between the H65 and the newer A6 model, we thought there was a chance it could work. The cables had to stretch to reach, and the one serious fault with this, the Wi-Fi will not plug into the motherboard. The new motherboard has a smaller slot, and the form factors are just incompatible. So close. We're still keeping it. I mean, just look how happy we are. Now we get to watch Chernobyl, since we've been waiting over a month to fix the TV. Please like and subscribe.